Hello, uh, welcome to another application of Bernoulli's equation. Um, <clears throat> this is a very famous example. Uh, it goes by the name draining a wide tank, or simply draining a tank. So you have a tank of some fluid. If you want to be specific, let's say it's a tank of water. And there is some uh, stopcock, and when you turn it on, and this valve will let the fluid go. So there is an area of cross section A2, cross section A2, and area of cross section over the tank is A1. By wide, I mean A1 is much, much bigger than A2. You'll see why that is needed, okay? So I want to, I want to find out when I open this, uh, what will be the V? Uh, so I want to find out, uh, the question is to find out at what is speed it will come out. So let's say this is point two. So what is speed is V2. If, if the height at this instant at which it comes out from the top to that point is H and this is given. Okay, how do I apply Bernoulli? Well, you can see um, that this is, you can consider this as a pipe. That kind of has a, uh, over here, that's point one. And over here is that point two. So this is just like a varying pipe, right? So if I know P1, so if I know what P1 is and what V1 is and what um, H1 is, so these things I need to know. And over here, I need to have some idea of P2 and V2. And V2 is what I want and H2. I need to have these things. Then I know in Bernoulli, I, I will have, um, I will have a combination of these things that's actually same throughout. So Bernoulli says, Bernoulli says that P1 plus half rho V1 square plus rho G H1 has to be equal to uh, so this is uh, P2 plus half rho V2 square plus rho G H1. Is this combo that's the same at this as that? So I need to figure out just what these guys are and plug into this equation and see what comes up. One more thing I know in addition to Bernoulli is continuity equation which was used to get this right so it may still be useful but bear in mind that sometimes you have to use it separately. I know it's, it was in here, used here, doesn't mean it, it got exhausted, its usage got exhausted, no. Sometimes this is enough and sometimes you got to combine this with A1, V1 equals A2, V2. And that is the case here, okay. We have no idea what V1 is, nobody's told us what V1 is. So we'll, when I set down this equation, I need to have only one unknown for it to solve. We have definitely idea what if this is uh, this is my height. So the h, uh, oh, this would be h two. So h two will be zero, right? This will be zero. V two I want to find. P two I want to talk about a little bit, but I will have some idea about the pressure. Um, H1 will be the height that's given. So this remains unknown and this I, I'll talk about a little bit. So, so you can see that I can't get V2 unless I say something about V1. Well, assuming V2 is, uh, you know, some amount, okay, um, some, some value that's a, uh, um, some finite value, some 
large by finite values, assuming those things. But uh, when when you look at a1 v1 equals a2 v2, and I look at the conditions here, so v1 is a2 over a1 v2, and it is saying that this this thing is very small. So if I look at the v1 over v2, v1 over v2 is very small, right? Which means I can, if I compare this thing with this thing, they are the same equation, they are two terms. So this will be very small compared to this. So rho v1 square will be much, much less than half rho v2 square. So this equation actually, in this case, I can actually have a simpler equation. I can ignore that. It's a P1 plus rho g h1 equals to P2 plus half rho v2 square plus actually 0, right? So h1 is h. So this equation turns into that. I need to figure out what I should think about P1 and P2 and then I'll be done right because all of this will be solvable and this is very tricky because you have been told that because this is a height h down here it's going to be rho g h p atmo atmosphere plus rho g h but that's actually wrong if you remember how the Bernoulli goes why it's wrong can be traced to how the Bernoulli goes Bernoulli goes like this. P2 is the pressure against which you are pushing. When the fluid is coming out, P2 is the pressure against which you're going to push. So if, I, if I'm here, I ask you, what is the pressure you're pushing against? Take a moment to think about it, okay? What's the pressure against which you're pushing? So I'm here, I'm the fluid. Say so you're the fluid. What you're pushing against? So you want to get out of this pipe, okay? What's the, stopping you from getting out of the pipe? What's in your way? You can pause and think about it a little bit. Okay, so I'll be back. I'm back now. And you can right away say I'm pushing against atmosphere. I'm pushing against Atmosphere. Therefore, P2 is actually atmosphere only, not rho G H or anything. Those things are not there. So P2, P2 is P atmosphere. Very, very important observation. If you didn't get it, just rewind it and just watch it again. Okay? That part which I talked about why it has to be. You gotta when the fluid is coming out, at the point where the fluid is coming out, you have to ask a question for the pressure. You have to ask a question. What it is that I'm pushing against? No, what's, not what behind me pushing me out. No. What pushing me out? I mean, that's not the question. The question is what I'm pushing against. Over here, where the fluid is flowing in the system, the question is separate. You have to ask what is pushing me so you ask if i'm here if i'm here what's pushing me down what do you think is pushing you down okay i've paused it and then thought about it a little bit and i can give you the answer so it's just atmosphere that's pushing you down right it just atmospheres this one is also atmosphere So the P, unbelievable, think about it, this really flies in the face of what you have learned earlier in the static, okay? The two are consistent, it's just that the way we think in static and the way we think in dynamics is a little different. They're all consistent, they're not kind of saying two different things. One is when something, uh, Bernoulli equation is, is about pushing when you're flowing out, your concern is what I'm pushing against because I'm going to have to do work against that. 
and when the fluid is coming in at that point something is pushing you in so you have to know that agent will have to do the work will have to increase your energy so there are like concerns are different right so these guys actually cancel out and then a salt for V2 Rho cancels out too strangely it doesn't matter what fluid you got the row was the only thing saying it was water or mercury or whatever, right? And uh, as long as viscosity is not there, right? Because this will all fail if the viscosity is playing a large role. Okay, so this this just comes V2 is a square root of 2 times G times H. This is called Torricelli's theorem. And this is very strange. It's almost like if I had a ball, not fluid, and V equal to zero, I dropped it. And so I'll, I ask, what's, what's going to be the speed down here? You get exactly the same formula. So just because you have the same formula doesn't mean you have the same thing. This is ball falling down, not, not fluid flowing, right? That's really crazy, but very beautiful that the two formulas are so consistent. Okay, so just just using a formula actually misses the point of what's going on. There are so many details that we had to go through to actually find this formula in a fluid flow. But interestingly, we have a formula which we are familiar with from a free, freely falling object. If you think about it at the some molecular level things. What's happening is almost like you had let it freely fall. And if you've gotten some other formula, you might try to model it this way, and you'd have come to a, say, why didn't I get this formula? That would be a question also at that point. That we got this formula, which is quite consistent with our thinking about freely falling, freely falling objects is a um, very comforting okay uh, we'll talk about more examples uh, uh, more complicated examples there's an example called Venturi's uh, 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 flow uh, and we're going to talk about that next uh, if I get time so, all right so see you bye